that one for today. Um, a little bit of a different situation here. We're down at Quality Inn and Suites. And we got called. It looks like on a rainy day, the employees like to park under the parking garage. Because it's raining, I mean. Why not? I guess, uh, maybe look at some pictures. She said she's in the office. Well, I'm not going to wait on her. She's, we're going to get something hooked. Just... We got it. We got your pictures. Yep, we'll go get them. I guess the black one goes in. Need me to walk? You might need to walk because I don't know if I can get into this place. Okay. drive through from the front of the restaurant.
is yours now. We got your car, sweetie. <laughs> Looks good. Good job as usual. Sweet. We got one. Wasn't yes. it a wasted trip? No. What's that? Yeah. This one's you? Yeah. Uh, you're not supposed to be parked up there, man. Yeah, I got a key. Okay. Alrighty, we'll back up here. Uh, let me get this car around us. Yeah. Can we get past? Yeah, put it right up here in front of the door so he can explain to her why he's parking there. Mm. I just need to make sure your ID matches the registration. If you can, you got registration? Yeah. Okay, if you can get that for me, your ID. And it's the same on yeah. this one, okay. Appreciate that. Yeah, that I was. Thank yes. You discount, okay? yes. Yes. I request them, okay? But make sure don't talk again here, okay? Okay. okay. Give them discount. Please. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. As long as your registration matches. Do you have the registration and it matches your name? Yeah. Okay. Can I see it? Is it in the glove box? I yeah. let you get it for me. Uh, can you get the registration? Huh? Yeah. The your registration. Is it? Okay. Yeah, we'll get it. Well, did, did they move the other one? Yeah, they move Okay. Alright guys, sorry. It's uh, uh we've been over here several times. Okay, man, we We fought traffic. It doesn't the traffic, the traffic is just horrible. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. Give them discount because they are employees. Hey, another way, come to the top of the hill. Now, when the attorney is there, the people they either park or they choose to pay any parking. Okay. It's my son. He fight with me. He said, "Don't." He is worker person. He said, "Don't take, don't give them hard time." Yeah. Give them little bit. Give them yeah. Little no, I understand. Uh, but yeah, it's just for us to come over here and fight that traffic. I like, understand, it, but I request them. But his his manager don't request me. That's big problem for them. Gotcha. That's yeah, that's just that's just our fees for coming to Gatlinburg. I'm sorry. That's that's just the way it is. Um, we're, uh, you know, I I, I understand the situation. I need to call you before I need to think about it, right? Yeah, I mean, if for us to come over here, it's gonna, we're going to take something from from the lot. That's so I say I'm I'm thinking like not that much. I'm thinking maybe hundred fifty dollar thing, but I don't. If you want to pay the difference, that's fine. Why I need to pay? Because it doesn't benefit doesn't benefit us to give him a discount. We come over here to take this car and we loaded it all up on the traffic and got to the parking garage and everything. So that's just what we charge. And unless we take it back to the lot, then it's But he don't want to pick up. He, he take it right Right. Now. So we can't give a discount. It doesn't benefit us any to give him a discount. It doesn't. Why would we do that? And I mean, I understand that he's, he's local and he's an employee here, but you've told him multiple times about the park. No, I told so, him everything. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it's just, just what it is. So, so you don't help me. So I need to think about that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, because I need that's, to that's call the other tow guy. Anything for discount, cancel that, anything for that. that because yes. you don't understand. For you don't. I I am the I am the boss. You know. So mm -hmm. I yes. I told you, you give them request. I request you. You need to give them discount. You don't want to give them discount. So you know, no. we need to think about that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So if you're parked guys. someplace you're not supposed to be, then. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's just that. Those are the rules. And so why you when I call you and text you that time? Why you don't call me? If they park car, you need to charge that much money. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. No. We. We. Can he get out? Because uh, my husband contract with you, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Those are just our fees for coming over. Um. You know, it's. It takes a lot for us to get over here to this. If you guys were at the beginning of the parkway, it wouldn't be as bad. But to get down here to the end, you know what you know what the traffic's like. So those are just our fees for getting over here to the uh, illegal park stuff. So um, you know, unfortunately, it's he knows he knows he's not supposed to park there. So you know, those are just his fees. He I understand. He, he knows. I guarantee you, you. I guarantee you, they'll think twice about parking over there this time. And I can move a little bit if I need to. But this. We got it. Okay. The guy coming here, okay? The guy, the car guy coming here. He's coming here. Okay. 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 Good. What a mess. Yeah, guys. Why? Why am I? Why would I want to give somebody a discount for uh, illegal parking over here? She's called me to tow, so we're. We're here to do a job, and that's to that's to tow cars. So that's what we're going to do. Real slow, but you probably have it. Go real slow. Keep coming. Go to the corner. I don't think you're going to do it. Keep coming. Go to the corner. Okay. Can you hear it? I can't. You hear it? Hello. Anything you can do for them? I can't, man. No, 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 I'm just asking you if you can just go for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. No, that's okay. I mean, that's. I hate it. You know, she's. Uh, you guys got boots or not? Oh, we do. Yeah. Next um, time, can you just boot it? Would yeah. be cheaper or not? I, I mean, it, it's just for us just to get, get through traffic. Here. It's just horrible, man. Um, you uh, and this is this is the third time we've been here. So this is the first time that we've ever taken anything. So we've been here two other times, and she's told us no. Oh, the the car, the the car? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you know, for us to come over. No, that's right. Do you, where, do you guys do boots? Yeah, we've got some boots. And, How much you charge for boots? Uh, well, it's going to be the same for us to come over through okay. traffic, you know. So it's, you want to leave me some? We'll charge half and half. 
I, yeah, I can't, man. I'm sorry. I mean, for me to come over and boot it, it okay. just it's double no, because no, no, then I got to no, come no, back and no, get no. it. I, like, I will, I will put the boot on. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, man. Yeah, yeah, it has to be us to to do to to put them on and remove them. So, um, you know, that's unfortunately that I guarantee you they won't park over there now. I mean, like I said, this is the third time we've been here. So they're thinking that she's lying to them. They're thinking that she's not going to tow anybody. So when we come here today, they start they start scattering again. The, the only thing is that we, we said, you know, it's okay, but we're having trouble because we're packed every day. Uh -huh. And they leave a lot of cars at night, so it causes those issues. And yeah. for you to get here at night, that's next to impossible. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, I mean, any time of the day, it's it's really crazy. But, you know, where if you, you need us to come you, at night, we'll come your, at night. Where's your guys' place at? We're over on Upper Middle Creek. We're in between Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Okay. So we come down Bird's Creek. And, uh, gotcha. um, but, you know, it's either way, you know, if you need us at night, we can do it. It, it really doesn't matter. Well, they have the numbers. They'll call because we're getting tired of all these people, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it only takes a few times of this, and then I guarantee you they won't take advantage of you anymore. Yeah. You know, it, they're, they're playing on your kindness. You know, you, you you say one thing and we haven't said we haven't done nothing for four years, so yeah, you know that yeah it's no, Get, yeah Gatlinburg's crazy. We get it. <laughs> We've got several other lots that call us as well, and it's the same story. Um, it's it's busier than it's ever been, and unfortunately, there's not more parking. <laughs> you can't make more land. Yeah. Hey, hey. That's, that one might be an issue for me, so I'm going to back up just a little bit more. This one's on the curb. Well, I could probably pull forward. This one's on the curb over here. Yeah, we. That's okay, no problem. It's fine. Yeah, it's just we. This is the third time we've been here, so this is the first time we've ever taken anything. So I've been here two times for free. One time I called. And then another time, your other uh, Mike. Somebody called. Yeah. I think it was Mike that, that called me the other time. So I've been here. This is the third time I've been here. What happened that time? They moved. That doesn't help me any to come over here for free. It doesn't help me. No, no, it's a... Uh... Uh, well, I'm not going to wait much longer, I don't guess. I don't know what's going on with the... Do you have the cash for the drop? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He says he does. Yes. I told you this is a weird. <laughs> Every time we've been here, it's weird. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't know why she thinks that we should come over here for her business for free. Tow trucks don't run for free. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. We're just gonna roll it all the way forward. Leave it hooked and just roll it forward.
can't lift it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like we done went through all of this. I think I'm stuck at her. It's a little crazy. Yeah, she needs she needs to think about what she's doing before she calls. All right, guys, we're letting down. So yeah, guys, a uh, little explanation: leaving uh, quality in Creekside over here in Gatlinburg. Um, the the owner thinks that uh, she can use us to come over and just scare people. I guess because um, the last two times we've we've pulled up, she's. She's been over saying, see, here's the tow truck, here he comes, you better not park here again. And then she expects us not to charge anything. Well, this time we happened, this is the third time, this time we happened to uh, actually get one hooked and and then she's she wants us to, uh, to not charge him and just give it back. And uh, she can't use our business to scare people. We, we're in the business to make money and hey, we're gonna make some money. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, one of the steepest roads you'll probably ever encounter would be Summit View over here off of Upper Middle Creek. Uh, right now, I feel like I'm in blast off mode mm -hmm. and the camera does not do anything justice. But anyway, we got a call for a 15 passenger van that she says she's got one wheel up in the air and feels like she's about to flip over. I can totally understand why. I hate this road. Yeah, this road's awful, just absolutely awful. Like I'm in first gear crawling up through here right now and it's straight up and down. Cabin number 10, is that what I you think she said? 12. Right. She's at. Oh, come to cabin seven. On the phone, she said cabin 20. Here on this, she says cabin 12. And then here it says come to cabin seven. That means we will back up this very sketchy mountain road. exactly where she's at. Cabin 7. Cabin 7. Oh, you're back down? I don't know. I hate to go back down. 10 through... It's got to be. Yeah, I can't read that one up there. That's too far from my eyeballs. This is 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay. Back down we go. I mean, I seen a white van, but it didn't look like it was not in, in danger of anything. And there's only really this one main road. Kevin's one, two, and three, four. That van is fine. Well, I don't think there was another. I don't, I don't think there was anything else back here. I think you're right. Be careful. This is where that guy flipped.
Yeah, this is just around the curve, so what's there is there. Okay, let me call her. They got stuck. Okay. Can I hop in the truck with you? Oh sir? man, I don't know. We don't. I'm just a two seater. I'm sorry, brother. Are they? Are they over here to the right? No, they all the way down. But yeah, okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna make our way back down slowly. You be careful, okay? We'll see if we can find them down here. crazy steep like if this even had any water on it like that is right there you would do well to make it blacktop up here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it looks like it just needs to come back down the hill. I don't think I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a miss for sure. <laughs> Well, you're reclining. <laughs> no, we want to get out of here. You want to get out of here? That looks like a good seat to be in right there. No, it don't. <laughs> you kind of missed the... You were trying to go up and then yeah. kind of slid back down? or? Yeah. All right. Stop. 
Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go up here and get set up. It's gonna take me just a little bit, so I hope you're comfortable because it's gonna be just a, just a bit. I'm gonna get some chains hooked up and I'm gonna pull you right straight back up there and then we'll get it wiggled around. Are you guys staying up there? No, we gotta get to 12. I need somebody else to get in the 12, okay. I'm, we'll get it out of here and get you turned around and headed that way. Okay. But just kind of hang tight right there where you're at for me. Okay. And um, it looks like it's pretty well anchored in in the back. I think it yeah, dug in. So I don't think so it's going go to go anywhere. It's a. You girls to go over there in front of that truck right there? We ain't tell out, nigga. Not yet, sweetie. Not yet, we're um, I'm gonna go up and around. Okay. You might just be able to set that on that pole right there. We'll get you out of there. This this area over here, it's it's super steep. It's bad. Well, we'll get you out of there. It's bad. They need to do something about this thing. Yeah, yeah. Look. Oh, oh, oh.
All right. Hey. Hey. How are you? Okay. Is hey. she Hello. Is she out is she safe over there? Okay. Do you need me to walk behind you? Can you You can see. Okay. Come this way. <laughs> I had them standing behind that truck back there. Okay. Good group of kids you got. <laughs> I'm probably yelling though. Oh goodness. <laughs> uh, I know they'd be like, oh, oh good. Yeah. You know, I mean, they. They had to have been scared, but they were just 100% ready to do whatever they needed to yeah, do. Yeah, they were. Good kids. <laughs> you might have to go back a little more, Jeff. Let me look and see what you got. I don't think you can make this. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to win. No, no, no. Please don't, Jeff. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. You got to wiggle. I thought he said he was going to whip it. <laughs> I'm like, please don't whip it. Wiggle. <laughs> That's it. Yes. This garbo here is what you're stuck on. Your back, your pass. I had I got stuck on this hill. Your passenger tire was here. Oh my god. Your driver's side tire was over there. Oh my god. You were 100% in the grass. Oh, that's what thing was. Ah, yes. This is where your hitch was. Oh, my God. That's what stopped you. So, that was a good thing. Look, girl. I was stuck right here. I'm sorry you had to walk. Yes. <laughs> you. No, I got a ride on the way back. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. Somebody take you back here? Oh, yeah. I, need to, um, <laughs> I might need some, ga uh, some gas, too, for the victory. Yeah, when he gets down here, we'll okay. look at that. Yeah. Woo. Goodness. Woo. That's you such a steep me. hill. The whole area is super steep. <laughs> Alright guys, got that winch out done. This is kind of a good, maybe a little bit of a viewpoint of, of just how steep it is. Uh, we're sitting here uh, pretty much level and this is the cross street um, that goes up. I mean, it's a... Uh, That's pretty steep. Uh, I'm gonna have to like, we're gonna have to invest in one of the uh, inclinometer. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get one of those things, and uh, so we can really show you guys what's what. But uh, we're setting, yeah, we're setting pretty much level right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head back down. We did have a um, an SUV, I think, that come around this corner and cut it a little too sharp, and somehow they rolled. I think they rolled it like three times and ended up down here up against um, this fence a little bit here. We did tow that one away. That's been that's been a little while. I can't remember what video that one is. I don't think we did any of that one because. Yeah, we might have not have been. I don't think we did. It was such an emergency that we just didn't. Yeah, they were, they were really. I mean, they had, they had kids, little boys in the car with them, and it was just. Their car was total. And she. I don't know what she's doing. She went back down. I guess she didn't want to make that right hand turn. Probably. I don't blame her. I, would, I don't know that I'd stay up here. So steep. Yeah, it's, uh, so yeah, if you ever have reservations for Summit View, just know, that it's just know that it's super steep and, ah, man, use low gear for sure. We're going to get out of Summit View. You'll know you're in Summit View because they have these, uh, off of Upper Middle Creek, you're going to turn. And they've got these two humongous fake trees. Super cool trees, but um, that's how you'll know you're about to blast off to the moon right there when you see those two <laughs> trees. 